conic sections or simply conics these are two dimensional figures obtained by intersection of a cone and a plane and in this video we are going to explain how these two dimensional figures are obtained when a cone is intersected by a plane let's see let's take a right circular double sided cone as shown in the figure uh, this is the axis of a, a symmetry of the cone this uh, right circular cone can be generated when this generator is revolved about the axis of symmetry at a certain angle now as the cone is right circular therefore its base is a circle this cone is double sided so it has two portions the upper portion is called uh, upper nap and the lower portion is called lower nap the point where uh, these two naps meet is called the apex or vertex of the right circular double sided cone let's take a plane firstly this plane intersects this uh, cone perpendicular to axis of uh, uh, symmetry in this way so the outcome of this uh, intersection is a circle next the plane cuts the cone at an angle alpha with the axis of symmetry where alpha cannot be angle of 90 degrees if theta is the angle between axis of symmetry and generator of cone then we define a condition on this angle alpha as alpha must be greater than theta and less than 90 degrees so when the plane cuts the cone at this angle what we get we get an ellipse now the plane intersects the cone through its base and parallel to its axis as as you can see this is the generator of the cone and this is plane and both are parallel in this position so what we get we get a parabola next the plane cuts both naps of the double cone through its bases like this and what we get we get hyperbola here we must remember one thing and that is uh, for circle ellipse parabola and hyperbola the plane doesn't intersect the cone through its vertex or apex so these conics are called non degenerate conics now the plane cuts the double cone through its vertex and let's see what we get we get a point circle for the next and uh, final case the plane will not intersect the cone it will be tangent to one or both generators of the cone like this and what we get we get a pair of intersecting lines note one thing and that is if the plane is tangent to only 
one generator we get a line and if it is a tangent to both generators we get a pair of intersecting lines so for point circle line pair of intersecting lines the plane passes through vertex or apex of cone so these conics are called degenerate conics